There's been a lot of discussion about global warming and climate change, and I'm not a scientist, but the scientists have pretty much agreed that we're seeing a change in our climate and that humans are contributing in a significant way to that. So uh, I, I take that at face value. I'd note that I hope that's the case. I hope humans are contributing to the change in climate because if not, there's nothing we can do to perhaps reverse the trends that we're seeing. Um, I've been studying over the last several weeks a number of uh, different options perhaps to address the issue of global warming. And uh, given some of those some real consideration, most recently people were here talking about a, uh, a potential to provide individuals the choice of what kind of energy they receive, whether it's coming from one source or another, which has some interest. Another group was talking about the need for us to send, if you will, energy consultants to other places in the world that are making decisions about what kind of power plant will be used in their future. So a lot of things that, uh, that I'm giving consideration to. I also would note that, uh, that this is really an international problem. Uh, the U.S. accounts for about 15% of global emissions of CO2. Uh, so even if we were to dramatically reduce our emissions, the rest of the world is going to continue growing their emissions. I say that because China, India, Brazil, Indonesia, those developing economies are getting more cars, more air conditioners, more washing machines. CO2 keeps going up. If the United States were to eliminate auto, all of our automobiles, for instance, you're still going to have CO2 go up. So in order to really resolve or to solve the problem of more and more carbon going into the atmosphere on a global basis, we're really going to have to have a technology breakthrough of some kind. And so the place I'm really focusing on is how do we encourage investment in breakthrough technology relating to new sources of energy or ways to recapture CO2 from the environment. These are the kinds of things I think that have the greatest promise for solving our global problem as opposed to just making a more modest American uh, reduction, which frankly doesn't do very much for something that has such a, a global impact. So uh, uh, keep tuned. Uh, I'm studying this. I'm talking to a number of people that have made this their, uh, their life's work, and hopefully we'll be able to come up with some ideas that'll make a difference.